Well hello, this is Obed. Today I'm going to show you how to use SSH on your iPhone or iPod Touch that has a jailbreak. Um, and real quick, we'll get right into the action. The advantage of using SSH on an uh, iPhone is that you can um, uh, transfer files to and from your, your iPhone uh, using just an FTP client, uh, which will come in handy for some of the hacks that we'll do in the future. Um, as you see here, I've just opened up my store, the app store for the jailbreak. Uh, I use Cydia, um, and I found OpenSSH. This is the software that you're going to need to install real quick to make all that work. Um, also, another thing that you will do is uh, go under your settings, under um, Wi-Fi, and you'll find your network. And if you click the little blue button next to your network, um, there will be a section there that will display your IP address. Here we are. So remember this number. Okay. And that's all that you really need to do right now on the iPhone is those steps right there. And so we can get out of that. Also make sure that the iPhone is turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi network. All right. Another thing we need to have is an FTP software. We're well, using FileZilla right now. All right. So you only put your IP address here of the iPhone. Your username is root and your password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and port number 22, and hit quick connect. Um, depending on your software that you're using for FTP, there may be a different process for that. Also, if it's the first time you've connected to your iPhone using FTP um, or to SSH, you're going to possibly have a little warning dialog that will pop up that indicates that it needs to verify the certificate. So just go ahead and, and verify that. So as you see here, we've actually got our file system on the um, iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, things like your um, actually your your music is in here. Um, all this is you know you can play around with this and stuff, but um, you may not. Again, you may not want to get too deep into what's here. Um, I'm just going to take a look real quick this downloads folder. I'm going to grab this sample file I've got on my desktop and drop that into place. And I'm just transferring that file real quick across to um, right across to my iPhone. So we'll expand some windows here and I'll actually be able to see what's inside that folder. And there's my sample text file. So as you can see real quick, I was able to just transfer a simple text file to my uh, iPhone. Uh, this will again come in handy for future hacks. I'm just going to delete that since I don't need it right now. And um, I believe that's about it for our tutorial this time. Um, come back and check me out for more great tutorials regarding jailbreak on iPod or um, iPhone and any other kind of things that may come to mind that, that could be helpful tips for you. So. Anyway, this is Obed, and we will see you soon.